Three, two, one. Welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a second episode of the day, and this is perhaps gonna be the most exciting video we have ever done on this channel. What we are about to do is a one troop troll challenge. So we're gonna be using the Valkyries, the Witches, the Bowlers, and maybe at the end of the episode, we may use these little like, what, what are we gonna call them? Kamikaze Warriors, these little Kamikaze Warriors inside of an all troop troll it's going to be absolutely insane the whole purpose of this video is to basically see what what one of these troops is going to be absolute beasts and which one is going to be just completely sucks so before we get into the first raid i want you guys to tell me this is going to be very interesting which one of these four troops the valkyries witch bowlers and wall breakers are going to do the most damage inside of the raids and which one is going to do the least is it going to be the wall breakers or are those nerfed witches going to get wrecked so here we go guys, first raid coming up, and we are going to be using those brand new level 5 Valkyries. So unfortunately, now I didn't do this on purpose, and I know a lot of you are going to say it's unfair, but I've accidentally brought four wall breakers, but I didn't want to want to go and do a second raid using the Valkyries, because I wanted to use a different troop. So we do have four wall breakers. For all the other troops, there aren't going to be any wall breakers. It's literally just going to be those troops. So it doesn't really matter. We're not even going to use the wall breakers. So it's basically like there's like one Valkyrie less because four wall breakers equal one Valkyrie. So remember, there is no queen in any of these raids, guys. The queen is currently upgrading to level 24. Hopefully, she will be maxed out one day. So we're just going to send in a couple of Valkyries to create a funnel. And then we are going to send in the army, the king, the grand warden. Here they go, guys. They are about to rip this base into pieces. The question is, are they going to be able to get the triple star? So the multi-target Inferno has targeted them already. Going to use the... Uh, the free spell on the Inferno Tower and, of course, the Eagle Artillery. They have just reached the Eagle Artillery. Wow! Two Valkyries completely destroyed it. The second Rage spell going in to take out that single target Inferno Tower. Ripping down the Town Hall. The Enemy King. Yep, he's just completely gone, guys. Our King and loads of Valkyries are going around the left-hand side of the base with the Grand Warden. The rest of the Valkyries have followed the Wall Breakers, so we just sent in the Wall Breakers there. The rest of the Valkyries have made their way onto the purple walls and hopefully they're going to be able to take out that wizard tower, the cannon and a couple of those archer towers. So if we go back down towards the bottom left hand side of the base you can see there is a Valkyrie, quite a lot of them still alive actually, taking out the Grand Warden just completely wrecking this base and it looks like it's going to be the, a triple star. The first troop troll challenge is going to be a triple star and it is those brand new level 5 Valkyries so you have heard stories about them. And they are true. They are not lies, guys. These Valkyries completely destroy bases. Just literally wreck them. So damn quick. So damn OP. Just absolute beasts. The King's still alive. The Grand Warden's still there. And we didn't even have the Queen, guys. So that is the first raid over. And the Valkyrie destroys the base. Gets a triple star. Takes over a million loot before the loot bonus. And 23 trophies. So now that we've seen the Valkyrie in action, how about seeing one of the second OP troops in the game? It is the Witch. Now, just before we get into the raid, I have to remind you guys, the Witches were nerfed heavily. Like, seriously nerfed inside of the last update. The, uh, the Larrys get less hit points. The Larrys don't even trigger traps. So basically, in reality, if you'd done this raid, if you'd done all max Witches, level 3 Witches against the base like this four weeks ago... They would like triple star this base twice over. But now that the Larrys don't trigger traps and they've got less hit points, it's going to be very, very hard to see whether these witches are going to be able to even two star the base, let alone three star. So let's see what they're going to do. We're going to drop every single one of the witch. We're about to flood the base with Larrys. Remember, they are going to get targeted by the Eagle Artillery. Check it out, guys. Just use the Grand Warden's ability in time and not one of those Larrys died. Dropping in the Rage Spell and they just absolutely flooding into the base. Use the Free Spell on the Inferno Tower. Sorry, the uh, the Eagle Artillery. And now here come the Witches and the Larrys. There are at least, I would say, 200 troops on the map right now. The Defending Pekka is just going to get ripped apart. Second Rage Spell dropped right into the center and the Witches are spreading out around the base, which is what we want. If they hit a big bomb, they are completely done for because the Larrys aren't triggering any traps. They're not even triggering little bombs or spring traps. So the Witches are basically just going to die. There is no way that this is going to three-star this base. No tanks. Witch is going to get ripped apart by big bombs. So let's see, where is the big bomb going to go off? Oh, one, one just went off there. Killed my king. Are there any in the center? Is there going to be a big bomb there? That is the question. Is there going to be a big bomb? Are these witches going to die? Let's check it, guys. How many witches have we got left? Let's just zoom out a little bit. 
see which one of these little packs of witches hits a big bomb. So there's still about seven, eight, maybe even nine witches still alive in the center of the base doing total destruction to the Inferno Devil, but there we go! We just lost four witches from a single big bomb and it looks like the army is about to fade out. The Grand Warden's still alive and fighting, but he's about to die. Single target, Inferno Tower locks on and there he goes! Yep, he's dead. And they only got 58%. So, so far the lead is of course the Valkyrie with the triple star in second place and really in last place kind of is the witch because they just completely sucked, got wrecked, the nerf has just completely destroyed the witch. I would not suggest using that many witches inside of raids, especially inside of war. So now we are going to try these brand new maxed out bowlers, going to drop in three of them just to clear out those buildings there. And then of course we are going to go in with the king, the queen, sorry not the queen, the grand warden and then send in a couple more to try and break down this first layer of wall. Now we do not want them going around the outside side of the base so we're gonna drop a rage spell hoping that the king manages to take down that wall pretty damn quickly it's only like a level 7 wall it took so long to take out just dropped in the first rage spell king's ability has been used gonna be sending in all of those valkyries so not the valkyries the bowlers into the center now gonna drop down the free spell very shortly on the eagle artillery the inferno tower and of course the expo and then we're gonna drop down the second rage spell and now watch this the bowlers are they gonna get higher percentage attack than the than the witches that is the question it's very unlikely that they're gonna triple star because they're just not strong enough the hit points aren't there but they have destroyed the center of the base almost passing the witches percent already so the witch got 58%, the Vowlers are up to 58 now, they're currently drawing, just taking it to 60. So can you believe it? The Bowlers have destroyed a base more in terms of percentage and quicker than the Witches. So the Witches really do suck. Oh yeah, by the way, I literally didn't see that there, guys. I would have attacked from that side of the base if I'd seen that there was 3k Dark Elixir sitting over there. Unfortunately, I didn't see it. So it's just the Grand Warden alive, we're going to leave this to play out, guys. He's going to be able to get what, another... Maybe another 3 or 4%. Cannon's taken him out but didn't quite manage to kill him. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get a penny of that Dark Elixir. And after this raid, we are about to go in for the live one. It is the big one. The Wall Breakers. So if you've made it this far into the episode, guys, and are completely shell-shocked by those witches, just comment down below, Supercell, what have you done? Because literally, those witches need buff. They are completely useless. I mean, a witch getting ripped apart. But that, that base was so rushed, the base that I attacked with the witches. And they didn't even get 70%. So they definitely need changed. They definitely need buffed a little bit. So we're going to be gemming the rest of these wall breakers. Need to make the rest of them. And of course, we have got the heroes ready. Yep, King just got ready just then. That was perfect timing. We got the spells ready. 11 spells. We are not going to be using the clan castle it's literally 120 wall breakers, the king and the grand warden. So here we go guys, we've landed on this base. This was literally, I think, the first or the second base we landed on. And you know what, we're just going to go for it. Oh wait, oh my god, I didn't bring any uh, earthquake spells, I forgot, because I've brought so many wall breakers. So we're just going to drop down those haste spells there. If these wall breakers get a higher percent than the, uh, than the witches, I'm going to be flabbergasted. It's going to be insane! These wall breakers just going in, gonna drop down the king, the queen, sorry, the grand, why do I keep calling the grand warden the queen? Gonna drop down the rage spell, now we've got a heal spell, and of course a free spell. Gonna use the free spell on that inferno tower, the king is getting taken out already, we've got 0% damage so far. Gonna drop down a heal spell, keep the king alive, please, no king. We got 4% damage, we can still beat the, beat the witches, I know we can do it, come on, come on grand warden. Take out those crayons. Take out that bloody air defense. The air defense looks like a bunch of crayons. Yep, the Grand Warden's about to die, guys. We're up to 10%. See you later, mate. He's dead. He's dead. And there it is, guys. It's game over. We got an overall damage of 10%, but to be honest with you, they were a lot more fun to use than the witches. So there it is, yeah, we did get a defeat, obviously, minus 26 trophies. So that is the end of the episode, guys. What did you think about the troops? Did you get your guesses right? Which one did you think was going to do the most damage? Who guessed the Valkyrie? Who thought that the witch completely sucked? Don't forget to comment down below, Supercell, what have you done if you've made it all the way to the end of the episode? Can we get 100,000 likes on this video, guys? I will see you very, very shortly for another one. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now for COC and Clash Royale videos every single day. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.